Do you know how to tell if your husband is dead? He's not breathing. Nope. Why? The sex is the same, but you get to use the remote. Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions of Corbin. <laughs> and you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Get your Patreon for the uh, today we got a Shah Rukh Khan interview and this is one he just did and he talks about good it's a current it's yeah. a recent one donkey awesome. talks about his three year break awesome Pathan and awesome. OTTs great um, so get a little insight Fantastic. into his current Fantastic. mind and what he's thinking um, and so it's by deadline spooky <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? I'm Shah Rukh Khan, and I'm an actor. I've been shooting here for yeah, you are. 15 days here in a place called uh, New, which is some kilometers away from it. It's a desert. It's very beautiful. It's a film called, uh, in English, it would be called Donkey. It is Donkey, but uh, uh, the way a part of the country pronounces Donkey in India is Donkey. The Punjabis, uh, they say Donkey. So, <clears throat> now how much to tell you about the story? So it's a film directed by, I think, uh, one of the most brilliant filmmakers we've had in the country, Mr. Raju Hirani. And uh, uh, it's written by, a, again, a very fantastic writer, Avichat. And it's a story of people, <coughs> how do I say, who want to come back home uh, when you finally get the calling. Uh, but it's a comic film. It starts in uh, comedy. His films are always a mix of uh, comedy and a lot of emotions and about the country. So it's, it's a big journey film and goes through different, different areas around the world and finally comes back home to India. Uh, you know, whenever a country starts shooting and it's not used to making films, they have some teething problems. So I went back to the ministry and we spoke to them once on the phone and they were so kind. Uh, I think the nicest part here is that they want to do it. I think half the battle is won. When you're trying to make films, I think half the battle is won if you just want to do it. So, one, the locations are beautiful. Uh, that's why we came. Actually, there was no, <clears throat> we, we hadn't really thought because one had not really seen Saudi Arabia. I'd been here once before to Riyadh uh, a couple of years back or three years back for a night. Uh, but we hadn't seen the location. So when the director and the team came here and the cameraman, they were like, oh, wow, it's beautiful if you could shoot here. And we requested them. They were very kind. Uh, they got us the equipment. They've done all the facilities. And I think uh, at the place we were shooting in Neom, they've even put up a green screen studio now. And they have this amazing arrangement there where they have lots of these trailers. So you can live in the desert, shoot in the desert, and uh, eat in the desert. And it's all been done and do some studio work also in the desert. So it's quite marvelous. And uh, we shot here in Jeddah, actually maybe right opposite here, the hotel on the pier. So it was really nice. And uh, beyond everything else, I think the people are very hospitable. Um, uh, specifically, I think, being from India, we have an outstanding uh, cultural affinity. Um, so there's a lot of love for Indian films, Indian actors, and you go down on the roads, and uh, we went down to have coffee somewhere. One night after we wrapped, we had finished the schedule here, and we said, wait to go, let's go down for coffee. So we went to this lovely place, and they gave us coffee, they made us some cake, they celebrated, and they wouldn't take money from us. So they're very kind, very hospitable people here. Lovely, the the local Saudis here, the immigrants, the officials. I think it's been really, really nice. And today is actually the last day. So for me, it's like a rap party at the Red Sea Film Festival. I just finished a long film, which is one of my favorite films, but unfortunately tanked at the box office. It's a film called Zero. It's about a vertically challenged uh, naughty guy <laughs> and who goes to Mars finally. We shot it in Huntsville and Florida and really nice. Uh, it's about space and stuff. In uh, Florida? And my daughter was uh, going to a college, NYU to study acting. And uh, you know what, what, what I realized is when kids go far to study, my elder son was at USC doing film production. If they call upon you, if you're in the middle of a shooting schedule, you can't leave and go to America. So you're like, oh, I wish I could be there. So the, only the mother would go there. And I, I used to miss that. So when she transferred from England to New York, I thought I'd keep six, seven months. Uh, she may feel lonely in New York. She may want me to come. 
and if the wife can't go, then I'll say, listen, I'll go, I'm free. You know, if, if, you're, if you're making films, you're in a look and stuff, it becomes difficult to just leave everything and fly down. So I waited eight months, she never called me. <laughs> So now she called me, now she called me, <laughs> I stopped filming. <laughs> I didn't sign any film. I was sitting at home and I was like, maybe she'll call me, maybe she'll call me. <laughs> so I guess uh, <laughs> after some time I thought, uh, this was wrong. So that ever happened when you want your daughters to call you? <laughs> yeah, I start working now. She said, but why aren't you working? So I said, because I thought you'd call me, you'd feel lonely in New York and, you know, film school, acting school, maybe you'd want some tips. She said, no, I'm having too much fun. <laughs> I don't, I don't need tips that. from you about acting, Dad. <laughs> uh, then COVID happened. And uh, everything kind of shut down. So, yeah, two and a half, three years went. And I was happy. Um, I have three kids. Uh, one was finishing college, one was going into college, and I was a small one. So I decided to do something as good as filmmaking, which I, I, I never thought I'd take a break from filmmaking. I've been working for 32 years, nonstop, 18 hours a day. <sighs> but it was nice because I did the second best thing which I wanted to do, learn Italian cooking. So hmm. I learned cooking. I sat at home. Now I make the most uh, awesome pizza. <laughs> I have my own oven. I can do... Uh, uh, okay, it, it, till you taste it, I do some of the best pasta. <laughs> so I feed the kids. I hang out with them. And then we started making this film, Pathan, which uh, what we did is we tried this experiment in India to do it in a studio, put everyone in a hotel, uh, just quarantine, quarantine them, let them not come out. And it worked. Uh, it, it, it was hard on most of the unit because they had to stay away from home while being in Mumbai. But they all stayed in hotels mm. and <clears throat> it was all sanitized and we shot and nobody fell sick, fortunately. We, we used to obviously inoculate. And uh, and this is, I, I've never done an action film. I've done really sweet love stories. I've done some social dramas. I've done some. Did he say I've never done an action film? But nobody was taking me for action. I'm 57 years old and I thought. Pretty sure we've seen a couple of them. <laughs> Mission impo Impossible ish kind of films. I want to do over the top action. Dawn! Because I think in India, the technology of filming. What? In the last seven, eight years. And I would take a part of that credit specifically with my company, bringing in stuff, learning visual effects for the last 10, 15 years. I think we've <coughs> gone ahead leaps and bounds. So I want to use all that. Mm -hmm. and young kids, mine specifically, like action films. So, so Pathan is an action film set all over the place, Spain, Russia, Dubai, Somalia, lots of places, lots of places. Yeah. I started with television in 1990, when television was really new, series were new in India, television was there. But I think, uh, you know, how in South America and in America, you started having these dynasties and, you know, big shows. And um, I'm a theater actor. And, you know, we got this opportunity to work on television. From television, um, things moved on. I moved on to films and um, as people so used I, to do I was very happy just being on film. actually I'm very happy just being on stage uh, then the the video VCR came in and uh, you know everybody started video kills the radio star in hmm. my mind in my car and they said VCR will kill television and VCR will kill movies and theaters so I'm really not well equipped I think nobody in the world right now is well equipped enough to say what's going to happen as far as box office is concerned uh, but I think one thing I can tell you with a uh, lot of confidence, that human beings by nature are uh, social beings. There's, there's a lot of happiness in community eating, community watching, community just sitting, uh, community just joking, you know, community having a live TV show, get five, seven people chatting with each other. It's always more fun. We are social beings. I think film watching Not will have its own different different spaces, different platforms will have different kind of stuff like reality television is there on television. You won't go and see it on a big screen maybe. Um, <clears throat> there will be films uh, we, we, as a production house and Red Chili's we do lots of films for uh, specifically uh, OTT for Netflix and for Amazon and for Hotstar. We have huge presence there. And then there are certain films you say no, yeah, I'm going to see Avatar on the big screen. Absolutely. I'm going to see... Uh, Not me. Loads of other films. Mission Impossible. I'm going to see it on big screen. going to see yeah. it on my iPad like uh, James see. Cameron intended. I'm going to see it on the big screen, on the big screen, to be honest. But that's okay if it came here. Uh, so I'm not... Uh, I think I, I'm not very... Um, I'm differentiating between platforms. I think we will find spaces for the kind of cinema and storytelling in different... There's room for everybody. Uh, platforms. Yeah. Cinema viewing, I don't think, is going to shut down 
anytime soon because I've been through these phases of television coming in or nobody's watching movies. VCR coming in, nobody watching movies. 32 years, I've seen it through. And yes, there is always a dent. There is a bit of a problem. Cinema changes itself and then comes back and, you know, invites people in hordes. It's community wing. So cinema, theater, you know, when you go to watch, you want to go to Lion King, you want to watch with your kids, you want to go with people. It's an outing. So I guess films, uh, yes, box office has got affected, specifically because of COVID. Watching habits have changed. Yeah. But I think it'll all settle down and come back to and then you'll, films will find their space at the box office. Some films will find space on um, streaming um, platforms. Some will stick to television. The one I don't like is when people watch films of any kind on the telephone. Too small. <laughs> films look too small on television, I think. So I request everyone, let not telephone take over. Streaming, everything else, everything is fantastic. No, that was 10 minutes? Wow, that went quick. Oh, geez, I thought it was had only been like five minutes. Yeah. He's a very well-spoken man. Yeah, he, every, we've always said that every time we see him. <laughs> And he so is. I'm like, I just, I'm like gripped to every word he's saying. I'm like, and he just, he has such a smooth way of talking. And you can tell why a lot of people like really like are enamored by him because like he has, I don't know if he has the swag of Rajnikanth, but he he's very smooth. Yeah, he's 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 got a very smooth demeanor, and he's he's very articulate, and he's very intelligent. You know what the uh, the Gen Z, they would say he got the riz. Glad I know that. Yeah. It's basically a flirtatious game. They call it the Riz. The Riz. <laughs> Don't ask me why. I just know they do. Did they write that themselves or did AI give that to them? Probably. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of AI, go look at my AI pictures. They're hot. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, I, lo I love Is your it. skin lighter and your body sexier? Yes. That's what I've been hearing. <laughs> My skin can't be lighter, Rick. Come on. That's true. You become transparent. <laughs> <laughs> Your pictures show up. So where did Corbin go? Um, yeah, I just I I love listening to him talk. Um, and he's, I think he's 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 very knowledgeable about. Oh my what, what I think it's hilarious that he thinks he hasn't done an action film. <laughs> yeah, do yourself a favor. Just Google search, SRK action films. Like I I'm pretty sure Don One Don Two are considered action films. My suspicion. Is that what he means? I haven't done the kind of action films that I want to do that are on the level of a Tom Cruise action film. Maybe, yeah. I think that's what he was referring yeah. to. Of, I want to, while I can, in the same way that Tom has, I want to push the envelope with what we can do in action. And I, I would say he would, he would absolutely say, well, I've done some action films, but they were never, I didn't view them as an action film. I, I viewed them from a, from a dramatic standpoint, and we did them and they had stunts, but I didn't go in it like, mm. this is going to be our goal. Yeah, it's just, just make great action, yeah. you know? That's what uh, I was talking to somebody. She's like, yeah, I'm kind of, I don't know what to expect from Pothan. I don't know if it's going to have any substance. I'm like, I'm, all I'm expecting is great action. Yeah. I Like, like obviously I want everything to be in, in a, like, not shit. I don't want it to be shit, right. like dialogue or anything. But like, I'm... I'm like, just give me some badass fun action just and I'll be a happy camper. Give me great action, great pacing, and an interesting story with... with yeah, if everything else is great. Yeah, to me, at that absolutely. Point. That's what I'm expecting from this film. Me too. Uh, like I've never, I, I'm like the only person that hasn't seen the new Top Gun. Uh, <laughs> you, st you still haven't I seen still Maverick? Haven't. Wow, I haven't seen anything. <laughs> this is because uh, <laughs> the movies I watch now, it's Indian films, <laughs> and then so I have to, I have to do the stuff for the, the two a week we try to get for the channel. But then a everything else in between. You're not on the nominating committee for SAG this year, are no. you? No. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, they, <laughs> you're probably not gonna, for the best. Yeah. You, I, nothing. I, I would probably deny it if they, yeah. if they offered me the nominating committee this year because I just I don't have time to watch anything um, <laughs> <laughs> outside of Indian films. I like. I still haven't. I haven't seen Top Gun. I haven't seen. Um, Tar, I haven't seen any of the any of the big films. The big leading ones. Well, you've uh, seen everything everywhere all at once. Yes. Okay. I, I did watch that a few months ago. Love it. And I'm sure because of your guys' love for him, you're gonna make a way to find to watch Pinocchio. 
Yes, God, I'm, I'm hoping Pinocchio is a beautiful I'm movie. Guys, we watch Pinocchio this week. Um, beautiful at, score at some point. Beautiful story. It um, deserves all the accolades. But Pinocchio is beautiful. Fantastic interview. Yeah, looking forward to all three of his films to come out next Absolutely year. Absolutely, I am. think they're all going to be very different. And he also, I, I really would love. I don't know. Uh, uh, Saying he comes from a theater background, when was the last time he did a play? Because I would love to see him in a play. I don't think he could now. Why not? If, if it was like in India, I don't think the audiences would... Like the Beatles, essentially, back in the day, though, they couldn't do... Yeah, you still could do it. I mean, I'm just, it's just it's limited seating, obviously. I just don't, I don't think the audiences would like allow to not stand up and, you know... Do like they do in a theater. I feel like they'll just... Be... Oh, you mean etiquette. Yes. That's interesting. With having him on stage? That's interesting, because they have no idea what audience etiquette or experience would be like in theater in India. No clue. Yeah. No idea. You guys can let us know. Yeah. Uh, and uh, let us know if you're excited for Shah Rukh Khan's three films coming out this year. It's going to be a big year. Yeah, and if you're not excited, what why is not? Wrong with Are you, you? a human? Just...